This film will show you how to um, import materials from external sources to load into the materials palette in TurboCAD. Uh, the written information is on my site, my blog, paulthecad.co.uk. Uh, so if you log on to that and then go down, it's on the third page if you go all through them. Look, there's Maria's Party, one of my paintings. Keep going, next page. Then some very useful get the shader light stuff, some useful information, something about the uh, boot camp or Google SketchUp last year. And the third page, um, uh, here it is, uh, importing new materials. So th the written out instructions are here. And also there's a link to a site where you'd pick up all sorts of uh, quite useful materials such as woods and uh, tiles, uh, textiles, some fabrics. And here it is. So you can click on oh any of them. So we have a look on that one here. We've got some wooden large uh, wooden flooring. I mean, there's a fair bit in the TurboCAD anyway, but there's some extras there if you want them, and uh, all sorts of other things. We'll see. We've got uh, wood here, uh, all sorts of you know sort of rotting wood and stuff like that. There's lots of nice stuff here if you if you've got a use for it, I suppose. Um, so. You just choose which one you want. There's tiles here. There's a very odd one here. Like this is a flesh. I mean, quite not what anybody would want these for. I mean, they're uh, it's really quite bizarre. God knows what that is. I mean, I don't. Know. I can't see anybody would want these unless they were perhaps a. Uh, I don't know, doing a, a wallpaper for a doctor's waiting room or something, and really wanted to make the uh, patients feel bad before they even see the doctor. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up some tiles. Here's a tile pattern. So I click onto it. Um, yeah, that's a nice one. I quite like that. So I'll click onto it again. This will open up. And then I'll right click and save picture as. And I'll save picture. Well, it's saving as a JPEG, you see. Um, I'm going to put it into my films, all the ones I'm using for my films, I'm putting in here. And I'll call this uh, tile uh, red and yellow. So save. So I've saved that now. Now I can close that down, and I'm in Turbo again. So now I'm going to draw a tile. Uh, I'll make it tab in here. I'll take it 100 by 100. Give it a thickness. We should give it a four mil thick. Uh, it's in rendered form, so let's have it in wireframe. Wireframe. Uh, put a little fillet on the on the corner. Maybe just one mil fillet on the corner just to round the edges off okay and now I want to impose that material so I go into my materials palette here's the tiles I'll click on to edit materials category it says metals there and I'll click on to tiles now tiles is one I've made before if you want to make a new one you simply click on here and, and put the name in here and make a, a new folder but I've got some tiles already in here, so I'm going to call it tiles. Uh, material, I'm going to give that a name. It's going to be, I'm going to call it red and yellow. Okay. It's going to be a wrapped image. So, wrapped image here, click onto there, that appears wrapped image. Uh, if it doesn't appear as wrapped image, you just look down the, the list here and choose wrapped image. Here, you look for it. Well, I've already clicked straight away um, in here. There's the one I want. Double click. If not, obviously you search for it. Double click on there, and that comes in. This one down the bottom here, you have to click to UV. <coughs> now, I just happen to know that the scale we're going to see this in quite nicely is, say, 50. And this is just something you'll have to play around with with each picture you bring in. And then I'll say preview. Uh, give me a preview up here. And then I'll click on to OK. Now that is in my materials palette. So if I now need to impose that material on that palette, I just select the tool, uh, the tile. I double click on the palette there, and that's imposed. And at, wire, at the moment I'm wireframe. If I click on here, I'll get quality rendering. There's my tile. If I want the pattern to be less dense, I can simply right click on the material. I can go to edit materials and if I double the size of that scale and then 
you'll see it automatically changes there and I say OK and it will automatically update and there's my new material in post and obviously then I can you know uh, use the array copy tools to plaster those all over a wall if you're bringing in something perhaps a photograph here and you want the photograph to exactly fit then there's a little there's a few calculations you have to uh, perform and um, the best thing to do is simply to send me a, an email via the uh, paulacad.co.uk website and I'll provide that for you. Uh, that's it.